Well, good evening, good evening, and welcome to the Wendell Lawson Show, and welcome to um, the new home of Tampa Bay Sports Sunday. Uh, we are back. It is. Uh, we've been away for a few weeks, um, frankly, because sometimes sports in the summertime get a little boring. You know what? Then so we took, took, took a little time off. But we're back uh, with the new home of Tampa Bay um, Sports Sunday, and our um, the title of today's show: Are you ready for some football? Um, the past week was the first week of. Um, of, of the NFL's preseason, and um, not many surprises. Um, the number one and number two pick, um, both uh, Jameis Winston and Marcus Mariota, had typical rookie outings and did not set the world on fire, or they didn't embarrass themselves greatly, but um, they were obviously rookie quarterbacks. And in, in both outings, both of those teams lost their games. And we'll talk a little bit more about their um, their statistics um, as the show unfolds, we're going to, when we take a break, uh, we're going to play some selections from a, an artist, uh, guitar player out of, um, Los Angeles. His name is BD Lens, B period D period, uh, L E N Z BD Lens. And you can look BD Lens up on Google, get his music. Buy it, listen to it. It's good stuff, and um, we're going to play a little bit of it. Um, I communicated with him about a year or so ago about playing his stuff, and he said it was cool. So we're going to continue to play his music here, um, here on Spreaker. So thank you again for um, tuning in this evening. Um, are you ready for Are you ready for some football? So let's go through the um, the NFL scoreboard going back to Saturday, August sixteenth. Uh, so on Sunday, August 16th, that, that, that's today, it was the Philadelphia Eagles and the Baltimore Colts. Baltimore Colts. I mean, Indianapolis Colts. Uh, Indianapolis Colts. Um, and um, this is the game that Tim Tebow actually got to play in. You know, you remember Tim Tebow, um, Heisman Trophy winner and standout at the University of Florida and was never, in my opinion, never really given a chance to um, – to thrive in the NFL was was told early that his throwing motion was all wrong for the NFL and spent a lot of time trying to figure out what to do about it. It's like anything else, you know, if something that you've been using forever and ever and ever and you've been successful with, now you get to the end of this process, you know, the goal of where you've been heading, and now they tell you that all the stuff that you've been doing to get to you the, where you are now has been wrong and won't work. I think that he had a lot of trouble with it. I think he had an awful, an awful lot of trouble with cha- with changing that throwing motion, and not only screwed him up physically. I think that screwed him up mentally. Um, so Tim Tebow actually took some time off, and um, after a stint in New York, a stint in uh, after a stint in Denver, where he took the team to the playoffs. A, a a terribly average team to the playoffs. Um, he had a, he had a decent running game and decent and decent defense. And um, I thought I thought played well enough to decide that you're going to actually start writing an offense or, or drawing up an offense that um, that highlighted some of the things that he could do. However, John Elway and the group decided in Denver not to and. Because they were going to get, I mean, they, they had the, apparently they had their eyes on Peyton Manning, and they weren't going to need to change anything if they had Peyton Manning. True. Okay. So Tim Tebow is in um, in Philadelphia now after a stint on on on, on television, where.